It's me. I'm back. Mikey Pipes. And I'm you're in for a treat, guys. Because as you know, around 80% of the properties in the Northeast, that includes Long Island and New York, you know, have some form of, you know, hydronic heating system or steam boiler, right? And a lot of you guys long for furnace videos. So you're in for a surprise, guys. We're going on an emergency service call. They got, I think, uh, two York gas-fired furnaces that are about maybe 15, 20 years old. And the one for the top floor, the bedroom floor, is giving them no heat. So we're going to go check it out. And, you know, I'll definitely be able to get some video because I'll be up in that attic. And uh, we'll see what's going on. If uh, you haven't done so already, support Mikey Pipe, support Godzilla by subscribing to the channel and become a 26.9 percenter. And what that means, in case it's your first time to the channel, 26.9 percent of the people who watch Mikey Pipes subscribe. Oh my God! Looks like we're going through a like a cloud. Wow! Look at all that fog. It's very very foggy, but at least it's 50 degrees. Sorry if you guys in. Texas and in Mich Minnesota? No, not Minnesota. Michigan? Where's it cold? Brick. Brick cold. Oh, oh Canada. That Canada guy. Canada guy. <laughs> that guy, that Canuck guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Stay warm, gentlemen. Be well, guys. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Okay. Back, back here. Again. We're back. Yeah, you're back. So, it, heat went out last night? Yes. It, okay. It was um, probably like 8 p.m. Okay. So, yeah, upstairs. All right, let's go see what's going on. Okay. And it's out right now as well, right? Uh, say that again. And it's still out right yes. now, right? Very good. Yes. We might need a new thermostat. We're going to order one. But excuse me. We can put one in if you want. So for 70, we need 67. All right. All right. Well, at least they're considerate and put a light switch in. But I wish they had a floor. Yeah, how many times have you put a foot through the ceiling? Very careful, they're gonna take the cover off. All right. There's nothing flashing on here. I hear it humming though. Let's check the fuse real quick. Fuse is good. It just flashed. All right, Steven, on that thermostat, I want you to turn it off. Let's wait 10 seconds and then turn it back on. Did, it, did the thermostat like click off? Uh, it's off on the thing. Uh. All right. That's the inducer motor. Got no action here on that integrated control board. Hot surface igniter has lit up. Have ignition. She's running. I'm gonna guess that probably something wrong with the thermostat. Yeah, Flashing on the control though. That's the fan relay. It just clicked on. Nice little blue flame. We're gonna have to replace this thermostat. Alright. This went from a no heat call to how to take out a thermostat and install a Wi-Fi thermostat. Alright, here. 
Yeah, I got the needle nose too. Needle nose, Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna need it. <laughs> because the dimensional size of this thermostat versus the new one is different. Okay. Alright. So place safe. Now, as predicted, there is my C wire, which is needed on these Wi-Fi thermostats. And also any kind of like touch screen like that you know mm -hmm. it's, it, it draws so much power it, you can't you can't possibly expect it to run off batteries mm -hmm. so and everything was color coordinated r went to r c mm -hmm. with the jumper between r h we had w was the white wires for heating mm -hmm. circuit we had y which is yellow which is cooling circuit and g is our fans circuit so, I'll take a look at all these things real quick. Alright. Just kind of make sure the ends are nice, which they are. Good. So, here's the base plate. Careful with that wire, we don't mm -hmm. want it to get stuck. Mm -hmm. It's thrown back into the wall. And yeah, no, we're not now fishing. Now you're fishing. Yeah, no, thank you. Go fish. Uh -uh. All right. I'm going to show you how I do it. What works for me it may not work for you, but I have a stud right there. Do I? Yes. Okay. So I have a stud on this side, so I don't need any anchors. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, move out of the way. Okay. Now I'm going to take my plastic anchor on the other side. Get that just flush with the wall like that. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take that base plate. And the other screw. Wanna grab a uh, torpedo? We're nice and level. Right there. Okay, now, Mikey Pipes is a little blind. Let's zoom in a little bit here, Steven. Let's look. We have C mm -hmm. right there. Now the opposite corner is mm -hmm. W. Yep. Okay. Now down here, look at that little jumper. Mm -hmm. That jumper is RC to R. If you take this jumper out mm -hmm. and only give power on the RC side, mm -hmm. it's not going to turn on the thermostat. It needs power on R, which is for RH, obviously, in this mm -hmm. case. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Now, in the top 
right hand corner Y, which is yellow. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, G. And that's why we asked if they had paint. Mm -hmm. Because if I put the wall plate here, it's just gonna look gross. Yeah. It looks nicer, a nice cleaner look with just that. So, but nothing's happening. Mm -mm. Wanna know why? Because there's no seat connected upstairs. Exactly. All right, here is our C wire, right there. All right, so, let me get this in just there, All right, like, do that for right now. Let's take our C wire. Okay. And C is, I want to say it's the first one. That's why C is right there. See that? So we're going to take our screwdriver. Loosen up the C terminal. Now we're gonna take this wire, get in there, and tighten that up. You see, see? <laughs> All right. English home. We'll call this second floor. It does both. We have force there, it's gas, standard efficiency, stage one, only Y is connected, only W is connected, and that's it. Yes, we'll connect to the Wi-Fi now. And this is the reason why we cycle systems multiple times before we leave a job. I put in that Honeywell uh, 9000 Wi-Fi touchscreen thermostat. I cycled it twice, and the second time, it ran for a split second and then turned off. We're getting an error code of six, and six flashes is pressure switch cycle lockout. You hear that? Pressure switch cycle lockout. There's my pressure switch. Let's power cycle this. And we're gonna give him a new pressure switch. I'm not putzing around with that thing. Godzilla? Godzilla? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Let me ask all of you a question. Do I look like a fucking parts changer? No. No! And there's a pressure switch. Where is it? There's a pressure switch. Let's pay attention to what we were listening to. Mm -hmm. It said pressure switch cycle lockout. That's what it said. Bullshit. Right? It said pressure switch cycle lockout. But also, it was speaking to us. Mm -hmm. We had... Mm. Sounds like it was a mouse. Yeah. We had a unfamiliar noise coming from the control board as well. Mm. And every time it tried to cycle, it was making a, a different clicking sound on, on one of the relays. So what did Mikey Pipes do? Take out the fucking board. Because I am not a parts changer. All I have to do now is wire in this new white Rogers board, which I had in the truck. There it is. 50M56U843. Plug and play, baby. Plug and play. So what do you think, Godzilla? Job done. I'm not, Mikey Pipes is not a parts changer. Nope. Mikey Pipes gets the job done.
And now look, the sun is out. Look, it's so beautiful out now. No fog. No fog. But that per that service call was a perfect example that sometimes there's an underlying condition or sometimes there are multiple conditions. Yep. So when we got there, the thermostat was set for 70. Mm -hmm. It was reading 66 or 64 degrees at the thermostat and the unit wasn't firing up. You turn the thermostat off, mm -hmm. right? We turn it back on, voila, she fires up, yes, sir. right? And there was no error code on the, on the control board. It wasn't getting a signal to turn on. Mm -hmm. So hence we condemned the thermostat, which I wanted to replace for quite some time now anyway. We replaced the thermostat, which I show you step by step how to add a C wire to the system, right? Uh, let me put my seat belt on before this thing just like drives me crazy. All right, and make sure I stop at stop signs like that one. It's called Yield Y I E L D. Mm -hmm. Look, please stop. So you know we took that extra C wire there, and now she doesn't have to worry about batteries ever. And if that, if ever something goes fatally wrong with the furnace, the thermostat will be blank, and hence you know guaranteeing a service call. Yeah. Um, so it was giving the false, you know, it gave us, it was a false error, but it's saying pressure switch cycle lockout. And it, it would throw off someone for a split second if you don't really have that much experience with furnace. Well, yeah, if you have experience with furnaces, it's gonna throw you off for a split second, like yeah. it did for me, right? I know that on furnaces, you have a pressure switch fail to close error. Mm -hmm. Pre and, and pressure switch fail to open error. So you have open and close errors. You know, if if the inducer motor is running and the and, and the pressure switch is not sensing it, mm -hmm. it's going to say that the pressure switch failed to close, right? Because if the pressure switch is not sensing, it failed to close. Mm -hmm. Let's say the inducer motor is not running, you're going to get the same error: pressure switch failed to close. Mm -hmm. Because the inducer motor is the first thing that comes on yep. once you know all the, the safety circuits are are, are, are clear mm -hmm. and closed. You know, like the, the rollout switch, for example, right? And the high, the high, the high plenum temperature limit is another example. So if the inducer motor isn't running, you're going to get uh, pressures fail to close. If the inducer motor is running and the pressure switch is working, right, and you hear the control board clicking away, mm -hmm. well, guess what? There's something wrong with that control board. And 15, 20 year old furnace. Listen, I would like to replace the furnace, and eventually I will. But keep doing the right thing, showing the customer value in the work that you do. Look, she has a brand new thermostat now. She's happy. She can use it control on the app. If she's cold in the middle of the night, you know, instead of getting out of a, under the covers, she go on the app, raise the temperature up. If you're too hot, lower the temperature a little bit as well. Anywhere in the world, you're away on vacation, you know, you get a notification to your phone. Hey, the heat is out. Hey, or this or that, you know? So if you, if you enjoy content like this, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, become a 26.9 percenter. Mikey Pipes really appreciates it. Let's go to the moon. We're going to the moon in Mikey Pipes rocket fueled by Tesla. I want 30%. 30%. 30%. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, the we need to be have a 30 percenters. Yeah. And the rocket ship is as booster cells powered by Godzilla. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day, guys.